my apologies for my nasally voice in this video, I'm quite ill. Hello everyone and welcome back to another horror movie video. Today is a very special day. Not only is it October and this is the first October uh, we've had on this channel, uh, which means it's coming up to a year since this channel was made. When you're watching this video, it should be Friday the 13th in October, which is not very common uh, and it is also one of the greatest things uh, to happen this year. So we're doing a Friday the 13th uh, film tier list. Friday the 13th is a franchise which I definitely do like. I have a big soft spot for. Soft spot for. However, in the past I've had a weird history with it because I never really used to like it all too much, uh, especially the first film, but I hadn't really seen them all or really given them all a go properly. Um, but nowadays I do have a big soft spot for it and uh, I, I like it a lot. It's not one of my favorite horror series out there, but I like it. So let, let's start off this tier list. So at the top we have <laughs> Then we have the fun tier, which is just, you know, it's good entertainment. Then we have the fine tier, which is just, you know, your average slasher, which, you know, a handful of these will be in that tier, I, I expect. We have Snooze Fest, which is, you know, just incredibly dull and boring. Uh, and then we have What the Fuck Is This? Um, these are like pretty much reserved for uh, one or two of them, um, but I guess we'll see how it pans out. Starting off with the original Friday the 13th, and I went to review this oh, about a year ago on my um, old channel. I rated this pretty low, I, I wasn't a big fan of it, um, you know, I, I just kind of didn't see the appeal at all. Um, however, nowadays... It, it is it is enjoyable. It very much is enjoyable. I can stick it on and have a good fun time with it. However, it's just not quite as good as some of the films that came directly after this. Um, so that is why I'm going to put it in the fine tier. As far as 80s slashes goes, this is pretty much as basic as you can get. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just a cheesy 80s slasher about an old lady killing people. Now, Friday the 13th Part 2 is going to boost its way up to fun. Now, I really like this film. It's still basic in terms of the formula. However, I think it works very well in uh, in part two, more so than in part one, uh, because it's paced very well, which there was some pacing issues in the first one. This definitely perfects that. Uh, you've got a better killer. Um, I mean, Mrs. Voorhees was like, she was cool, I guess, but like, she was only really properly shown in the last scene. However, Jason's, you know, Jason's in a good amount of this. Uh, the design's like, Obviously not as good or iconic as, uh, as the films after this, but I think it's still charming to the point where I based my slasher villain design from my college short film off the Jason in this film. I'm a big fan of sort of farmyard, grindhouse sort of horror, and so this film does kind of scratch the itch for me. Part three, I... <sighs> Is it gonna go in top tier? Or the fun tier. I'm gonna have to put it in the top tier. This film's probably the cheesiest out of the uh, original kind of four, and I also think it's got so much personality right away from the opening uh, 3D cutscenes that have the the disco music and the way it sort of glides into frame. I think the characters in this are really really good. Maybe not as good as in the fourth one, uh, but like the biker gang was like a really fun addition. You got the first time Jason was shown in the hockey mask. I especially like the climax of this actually. And again, I quite like it how it all takes place in sort of a, a barnyard or farm kind of uh, setting. And so yeah, I like this one. It's a great party movie as well. Um, however, just, just scraping just above part three is part four or the final chapter. Um, which I think is the best, um, I was gonna call it Five Nights of Freddy's there, Friday the 13th film. Corey Feldman does a fantastic job in this in a very early role. He was like, he was a baby essentially when he was in this. And I, I love the ending where he shaves his head and tries to get through to Jason. Like it, it's it's cheesy, honestly it's kind of silly, but it's just, it's just really good, what can I say? You also have Crispin Glover in this film and uh, I really like his performance. Um, like pretty much all the actors in this do a great job, and I just really like the characters. I'd say it is, this is the definitive Friday the 13th experience. Alright, uh, is, is New Beginning the next one? I think it might be. New Beginning is... Now, I... I mm, uh, where am I going to put this one? I don't know whether it's going to go in Snooze Fest or whether it's going to go in Fine. Um, because it's like, it's very comedic to the point where it's not that funny because it's like too intentional, if that kind of makes sense. 
Like, the intended comedy isn't that funny, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to put it in Snooze Fest. Um, of course, the Jason in this isn't actually Jason. It's a different guy, but with Jason's mask. K kind of boring. K kind of kind of snoozy, ain't going to lie. I've literally seen this once, I believe. Maybe I'll watch it again this sometime soon. Um, but uh, right now, I don't really have the desire to. So uh, we're just going to skip past to Jason Lives. Jason Lives, in my opinion, is a little overrated. I'm gonna put it in fun. It's not, it's, it's not as great as a lot of people make it out to be. And that's simply because I think it focuses, I think it focuses on Jason too much. I get that it sounds cool to have a film that's basically just about Jason, and it's like, basically he's the main character. Um, that doesn't really do it for me, however. I think it's very fun. You know, it's it's you got some great kills, obviously, probably some of the best kills in the franchise, the most creative scenes. Uh, in terms of creativity, this is probably the most creative Friday the Thirteenth film. You know, J Jason being the main focus and the sheer the sheer amount of Jason being in the film, kind of didn't really do it for me as much as it did for other people. That being said, though, it's a fun watch. I mean, it was definitely worth it. You know, um, I think New Blood comes after this one. New Blood is. Boring as fuck. They took a risk. They definitely took a risk. This is a way different narrative. You have this girl, Tina, who um, has psychic superpowers. She's basically Carrie. That's what everyone says. Um, and she goes up against Jason. It's kind of kind of very dull. Um, and like, I get it. They took a risk with, uh, with changing the plot completely. Didn't really work for me. Um, but you know what? Props for, props for trying to... Uh, introduce new shit to the franchise, I guess. Um, I believe next one is Jason Takes Manhattan. Alright, bit of a controversial one. I think it's fine. It's not great. It's not as good as the first one in terms of fine. If you ignore the fact that Jason's basically not even in New York for most of it, um, it's not that bad, you know? It's, it's on a boat. That's kind of creative. Um, you've got some decent characters, some pretty fun characters, you got some pretty fun kills, Jason's in it for quite a lot. It's it's not the worst thing in the world, but like, I get why people don't like it, but I also like, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure, to some extent. I can I can get behind Jason Takes Manhattan, you know, I, I can watch it at a party and have a fun time and not be pissed off. Uh, unlike with Jason Goes to Hell, um, which I'm, I'm gonna put in, in what... Uh, am I gonna put it motherfucker? No, I'm gonna put it in snooze fest because Jason Jason isn't fucking in this film. It is aged like fucking milk um, And it's incredibly dull. It is probably the most boring out of every Friday the 13th film and probably the one I want to watch least Jason X is going to go in the what the fuck is this category because honestly I enjoy it uh, Everyone does I feel like most people most Friday the 13th fans Enjoy Jason X doesn't mean to say they all think it's a good film But we all enjoy it as as a community. We all enjoy Jason X. That's just kind of a rule um, It's not a good film however, but it's so silly <laughs> That it's it's just fun. You got you got good kills the characters are like easy to get me easy to like watch and enjoy It's it's just it's just silly. It's just a silly little film So it's just something to look at for an hour and a half it is going to go in the what the fuck is this category because that the, the, what the fuck is this category isn't necessarily the worst of the worst It's just it, it's its own beast anyway moving on um, Freddy versus Jason is Now I'm also gonna put this in what the fuck is this however. I don't enjoy this one nearly as much um, I don't hate it. Well, it is bad. No, no doubt about that well, Like Jason takes my hat and if it's on if it's on the TV at high I will enjoy myself. Pretty stupid plot, pretty stupid characters. The characters are in this, the human characters are kind of insufferable. I kind of hate them with all my passion. Um, but that kind of sometimes makes the viewing experience more enjoyable just because the, there's passion there, you know? Uh, the effects look like a bowling animation. The best scene being uh, where Freddy sticks his claws up that girl's nose and it flies into the camera. We'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll move on to Friday the 13th remake. Now, this is another one that I kind of find overrated because um, a lot of diehard Friday the 13th fans think this is like a godsend and like one of the best horror remakes ever made. It's fine, you know, like in terms of like how to remake a franchise in terms of like the format, 
this is probably the one of the better ways to do it because you've got the opening of like the Mrs. Voorhees stuff and then you've got well the, the opening flashback of the Mrs. Voorhees stuff then you've got the opening opening the really long cinematic opening which is absolutely fantastic um, where you've got Jason with the bag head uh, before he gets a mask and he kills the group of campers. I actually analyzed that whole opening bit um, in an essay uh, talking about slasher films in college. After that, I don't know, it's fine. You got this like guy looking for his dead sister who died in the opening. Um, and like that was kind of like a fun character story, I guess. However, most of the characters are just really dry. <laughs> like you, I'm not attached to any of the characters. They're really hard to really get invested in. Like they're purposely trying to do the over top stereotypes, but they don't really put much effort into actually making them easy to sort of like root for. But that is pretty much the entire Friday the 13th uh, tier list. If you want to see a Halloween tier list uh, on Halloween, then please do let me know because I would enjoy to do that because Halloween as a franchise is a saying which I do enjoy a bit more than Friday the 13th. So that about does it for this video and uh, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.